Well, Logic is back at it again, talking about mental health in the brand new single he just dropped titled Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. And wow, like I was getting ready to go to bed and then this song dropped and I listened and I could relate to it a ton and I know a lot of you can as well. So this is my mental health reaction to Logic's new song, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. What I try to do is pull different topics from pop culture and hopefully try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, just so you know, if you're new to my channel, I am not a licensed therapist. I am somebody who has worked in the field but I like to use a lot of my own experiences, my own mental health issues, as well as, you know, people I've worked with and talked to and things like that to try to bring up topics. So hopefully this can help. And one of the things that's very therapeutic for me, and I know a lot of you out there, is connecting with song lyrics, right? So Logic, I, I love that dude. I love him. And uh, I know some people haven't liked some of his recent stuff. I've, I thought the production on a lot of them have been really good. I like how they get a little funky and stuff. I don't know if any of you watched the, uh, the song he just did with um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's company, Hit Record, but that was awesome. But anyways, Logic's awesome. Logic, another reason why I connect with him is he is another guy like myself who's half African-American, but does not look it at all. The only difference is Logic has a much sicker flow than I do, you know what I mean? Because like, everybody wants to tell you who you are, or what you are, where you should fit in, or what you should do, and it's like, no, I'm, I'm biracial. But anyways, so he just dropped this song, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. I'm gonna be talking about it. Um, I'm not gonna be playing the song, it'll be linked down in the description below. I am new to the whole music reaction thing, so I'll be throwing up some video clips, but I do not know how to not get copyright claimed by using copyrighted music. So use your imagination, go check out his song after this video, or you probably already listened to a song, all right? But anyways, there's a few different things that I wanna talk about. So this video, like, it, I was like sitting here watching, I'm like, wait, is his throat slash? Like, what's going on? But then when he starts rapping and getting into it, like he's talking about some of these mental health struggles that he's dealing with. I remember when he released, um, his his song with the phone number for the suicide prevention uh, hotline and like he was inspired by that song or to make that song because so many of his fans said like his music helped save his uh save their life and he like didn't really like even get it until he started meeting his fans and stuff and you know he he even admitted that he hadn't really struggled with really any mental health issues and things like that so it's really cool seeing him release this uh track confessions of a dangerous mind and talk about some of his own struggles so one of the things he's talking about is like just social media and all the input. And a lot of it has to do with just blowing up as an artist. But like one of the one of the things that he talks about is like all of the pressures, you know, all the input of social media. And like he talks about no wonder why like rappers are turning to substance abuse and things like that. And this is very common, right? This is not only very common for like rappers, it's very common for people. You know, people turn to substance abuse as a way to cope, right? Um, from my experience and from what I've learned, there's three primary reasons why people drink or use drugs. If you're somebody who, you know, turns to substances to, you know, deal with your problems, you might be able to relate. It's to get a feeling, to get rid of a feeling, or to have an escape, right? And with all of the massive criticisms an artist can get, especially when you're in the public eye, like, it can be rough. It can be difficult. So, <clears throat> I have become so much more empathetic towards other YouTubers as well as celebrities and things like that because, um, you know, my channel was built upon making a lot of videos, you know, using YouTubers as a reference and trying to teach others about mental health and things like that. And like, now that I've gotten a lot more attention and gotten some negative attention and things, like I can empathize so, so, so much more. I was actually watching, um, a smaller YouTuber today. I was actually watching a few smaller YouTubers today. One of them had less than a thousand. One of them had about 5,000. And they were just talking with this kind of like, they don't, they don't give a F attitude, you know? They don't care what people think. And I was um, talking with my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, about this. And just being like, man, I remember that because my channel kind of blew up in the last year. And like, 
there's not as much pressure. When you're smaller, there's not as much pressure. So, you know, a YouTuber or even somebody like Logic, you know, when you're getting started, like you're getting, you're getting the feedback, you know what I mean? You could be on that, you know, that high of everybody loving you and things like that, but the higher you get, the more critics you get as well. So that pressure just increases. Like I remember starting my own, you know, starting this YouTube channel. I started recording on my cell phone before I got like, you know, the money to get a camera and light and like a microphone and things like that. And you know, it was easy to deal with comments because you're getting like five, 10 of them, right? But when you start getting like thousands upon thousands upon thousands, it's just, like I said, it's like that pressure. It just gets more and more intense. You know what I'm saying? So as it goes on and he, and he talks uh, throughout this song, he talks about like <clears throat> reading, you know, you know, things on Twitter or Instagram, you know, he talks about like haters and he talks about loving them and you know, that, that'll kill them, you know, so, you know, kill them with kindness and things like that. But something that came up today because the last two days I've uh, spoken at a high school and answered a lot of questions about mental health, the stigma and things like that. And something that came up today was, you know, people minimizing other people's issues saying like, oh, you haven't been through this. You don't get it. Right. And something that, you know, I think will bring us, you know, a lot closer together just as a society, like, you know, in the world, it's just, understanding that everybody's reality is their reality, right? Like, it doesn't matter what job you have, there are its own stresses and things. So something I was talking to the uh, the high school kids about, because, you know, some of them have like parents who are like, oh, you can't be stressed out. I work a, you know, nine hour a day, you can't be stressed out, right? But something I was, you know, talking to them about too, is that we should never minimize somebody else's experience. And I see this happen with uh, a lot of celebrities, right? Like, I remember there was a story you know, in 2018, um, where Justin Bieber got a lot of backlash, just talking about how, you know, celebrities aren't always happy and, you know, they have their own struggles and their own issues. And he got a lot of flack, a lot of flack, right? And from my experience, like, um, it, it's like people think that money increases happiness. And from my experience, that's not true, right? Money doesn't increase happiness. For most people, money decreases stress. Okay, but here's the thing, with every new level you get, like the higher you get in life, there's gonna be new stresses. And what I was telling the high school kids is like, you're in high school right now, you know, once you, you know, when you get towards your junior, senior year, you're gonna start prepping for college and everything like that, there's gonna be stress, right? You know, studying for finals, SATs, ACTs, college applications, college essays, you know, applying for scholarships, all these things, that is your main focus and all these stresses. And then you get that letter in the mail that says you got into college and oh my God, it's so great, right? But then you get to college. Now you're in a new place. Now you don't know anybody. Now there's like, you know, college cramming and all that stress for those tests and everything like that. But you make it through and you graduate. But now once you graduate, you gotta find a job. You gotta find a good job. You gotta find a job that pays you, right? Like now there's a new stress around that. Then you get the job. Well now at that job, you got a boss to worry about. You know, you got coworkers who, you know, might stress you out. So like what I'm trying to say is, is no matter who you are or what you're going through, no matter what we get, there's always going to be new stresses associated with it so like I I just you know I've especially come into a more empathetic place but I hope other people can do that too where you look at these celebrities and it's not just like oh you know book up like you you got it nice you got millions of dollars you know what I mean but actually going through the comment section on this video there was a lot of people thanking him and thanking for him for talking about his mental health and all of that and I think that's super 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 important and um the last thing I want to talk about is his ending line where he kind of sings, you know, where he's talking about put your ego on the shelf and love yourself. And yeah, like that, that's a huge thing. I've been reading books on ego, you know, to help manage my own ego. And that's a, that's a huge, huge thing. And I've made some videos recently about vulnerability and shame from Brene Brown and all of that. But... <clears throat> Like self-love and self-compassion is something that I know, I know I have struggled with and I know a lot of people who come to me have struggled with these things as well. And self-love is a very, very difficult thing for a lot of people. So if you're struggling with it, I can pretty much guarantee that you are not the only person you know struggling with it as well. And I actually have some books on my reading list that I'm going to get to. Like there's some um, 
great authors out there who specialize, you know, in learning how to have self-compassion, self-love, and all of those things. But a lot of the criticisms from the outside, from my experience, a lot of those things come when you don't fully love yourself, you know? Like even with all the criticisms I've received and I've gotten and things like that, when I look deep down inside, it's not so much what the other people are saying, it's how I view, how I see myself, you know? And you might be able to relate to that. But anyways, if you have listened to Logic's new song, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, let me know your thoughts down below. How did you interpret it? What did you take from it? Can you relate to it or any of the topics that I've discussed? Like. And the, the more you succeed in life, the more there's new stresses and all that kind of stuff. Let, let me know. Let's have a conversation, a nice, gentle conversation down in the comments below and let everybody know you're not alone in those struggles, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get involved in our monthly Q&A and get exclusive videos and stuff like that, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.